and they will never suspect an ambush from you. Lead them to think that you cannot fight, and when the time comes, they will be surprised that when they challenge you, you defeat them in battle. In the art of shinobi jutsu, one learns to manipulate the pretenses that one is given by the enemy to their advantage. This leads the enemy to fall into a false sense of security, lowering their guard. This is known as Mumonkan no jutsu, the art of the gateless gate. By using this technique, one immediately uses the assumptions of a foe to their advantage. The enemy believes that they cannot fight that they are utterly helpless, and when the time comes, they are utterly surprised and shocked when they find a sword in their hearts, throat, or even their skulls. The eager to use shinobi Joni, Momochi Tanba, is a good historic example. Thanks to his ability to use Hinso Jutsu, he was able to give the enemy false impressions of him. Through this, he was able to outwit the Oda army of Nobukatsu shortly before the incident of Tensho Iga no Ran, led by Oda Nobunaga himself. His skills to blend in also led to the destruction of many samurai that failed to notice. The Kogoryu Kunoichi is another good example. As the director and head of Takeda Shingen's Kunoichi group in the Takeda army, this particular Kogoryu Shinobi trained women as spies. While others saw them as just weak women, they were actually trained in espionage and, if necessary, assassination. To review, Denjutsu also uses the principle of Kyojutsu Tenkan to allow the enemy to make an assumption. Through this, the assumption is used as a cover, and when the enemy least expects it and lets down their guard due to false sense of security, they are immediately surprised when they are easily crushed. 